Hi you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, my name's Lauren. I'm filming like a weekend of my life right now and I got my toes done and I'm waiting to get lunch with my friends. So I thought I would just come back to my car instead of driving all the way home. I would film this little Q&A. I asked over on Instagram for you guys to ask me some questions, just anything really in general. I got a ton of questions in regards to my job and nothing really else. So in a video I asked again if you guys had any other questions that weren't necessarily job related. So I got a ton, um, but let's go ahead and get into it. So I got a ton of questions asking like what's my new job and why did I leave my old one? So I actually did a whole video on basically why I left my last job, but my new job, I work for a travel agency and to sum up why I left my old job, I just felt like I was at the ceiling there and there wasn't a lot of room for me to grow and that was a little bit terrifying to me but i just i really needed something new as well and i've never done travel or anything but my degree is in hospitality so i thought it would be fun to you know give it a shot how do we know what we are good at or what we're supposed to do or what our career path through life is going to be if we don't get out there try new things get out of our comfort zone so that's that how are you feeling with the new job so far personally i love it it is a lot of information it's different it's like i feel like i'm almost back in school because i'm having to learn about the places that i will be selling so it's a lot of hotel information um stuff like that and um obviously me being able to go and tour these hotels and experience these hotels will be super beneficial for me because i will be able to better sell them having been there and experienced those things there how do you become a travel agent um honestly i really don't feel like you need any experience i don't have any experience i don't think my degree necessarily helped me get into travel um, I found out about this opportunity and found out about the company through a friend so really it is who you know and I know that sucks hearing but I mean I feel like with travel you don't necessarily need a degree or um, need anything specific I mean I'm not super super outgoing which I need to like bust out of that I feel like if it's something that you do want to get into you totally can and I think you should give it a shot if you want to. Um, let's see. How do you balance nine to five in YouTube? Honestly, it's, it's really hard. Um, you don't know how much work goes into YouTube and doing that with a nine to five job and working out and eating healthy. It's just, it's a lot like I feel like I'm just always doing something and that can lead to burnout and there's just no secret or balance to it honestly you put time and effort into something that you care about and want to put time and effort into at the end of the day life is all about choices and um, yeah whatever you choose to put your time and effort into obviously will grow and progress and move forward and it, sometimes it is really hard to balance it all and you can't give 100% to literally every aspect of your life there just isn't enough hours in the day there's not enough energy and that's just not how life is supposed to be lived but I personally am such like a go 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 person and once I left school and working I just needed something to like fill that part that I was missing from school time if that makes sense so working nine to five I decided to start a YouTube channel and I could put a lot of creative effort and um, it's something that I really enjoy it's like a video diary at the end of the day and I really enjoy it so I'm obviously going to try and make it work as best I can and balance it as best I can as well how do you stick to your routine I can't seem to get a grip honestly sticking to a routine I am very routine oriented so I can't necessarily give the best advice I don't know if I've always been super routine oriented but I want to say I have all I can say is picture yourself five years from now or like a month from now or just picture your future self and show up as that person every single day consistently you can't just 
literally wake up where you want to be you have to like put effort and set goals for yourself to get to where you want to be you kind of just have to make a choice at the end of the day like i said life is all about choices and you choose to stick to your routine and i get it you can totally fall off track go on vacation um get out of that inspired mode that gets you into that routine and gets you like working towards your goals whatever they are and you just kind of have to like realize that you're out of your routine realize that you're falling off and start again tomorrow so that's my advice there um sorry if i'm rushing through this i don't want my camera to die favorite hair care products best mascara i buy a lot of cheap hair care products so i don't really have a ton like what i use for leave-in is the eva nyc i'll put a picture of it on the screen that's my favorite and then i like the Kerastase leave-in it's really good um but i buy cheap shampoo and conditioner honestly so i don't really have favorite hair care products um i'm kind of just like trying new things right now What do you and Christian like to do for date nights? Honestly, it varies. I feel like we like to do a lot of at-home date nights because he cooks just an incredible steak and it feels like I'm in like a five-star restaurant. He does such a good job. It's literally incredible. So that's what I like to do. I like at-home date nights. Like um, we made margaritas recently, have a glass of wine and you like just don't have to worry about anything because you're in like the comfort of your own home. Um, but we also like to go out to dinner. I love trying new restaurants as well. I'm a huge believer in constantly trying new things. So I'm always down to literally try anything and everything. Purse or shoes, what's more important? A purse to me, I feel like is more important. I don't know, like I'm slowly getting into shoes, but I feel like a purse, you could like just do so much more than a pair of shoes. Like there's so many varieties of shoes out there that I feel like a purse, like if you just have like a few staple purses, like you're good to go. And like with shoes, there's heels, tennis shoes, slides, flip flops, like sandals. There's just so much. And I feel like I'd rather invest in a purse because it will last longer than a pair of shoes in my opinion. What's your take on social media addiction? Honestly, social media is super draining and I like notice myself getting drained from scrolling on social media and it is hard to kind of pull away and not want to check up on what everyone else is doing and I just, I get burnt out from literally scrolling on social media so it's important for me to like pull away go work out, like cook something, um, get out of the house, I go to the grocery store, I do laundry, like just clean up and get out of that headspace of like social media and needing to continuously scroll because it does like seriously affect you if you do it like constantly and just like scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. So just try and pull away when you feel yourself like if you're constantly like drained or burnt out like maybe take a look at how much screen time you have on your phone and um try and cut that and see if you feel better because i have and i literally feel better from not like scrolling all the time if you could change anything about yourself what would it be for the longest time i wanted to change my nose i wish i could have literally changed my whole entire nose i can't really do much with it um i feel like that's what i would have changed but honestly i wouldn't look the way that i look or be who i am without it and i feel like if i had a different nose i don't know if i would like it on my face i feel like the way that i look is the way that i look and i think i I'm more and more confident every single day and regardless of what people think of me or think of my nose I still get comments like oh my god her nose or oh my god this and um, I think I've just come to a such a solid place in my life where that stuff yes it hurts but I couldn't picture myself any different and I'm not sure if I was any different I would like that person you get what I'm saying like I obviously have goals for internal growth and personal growth and um, my attitude and my views I have like I would love to continue to progress in that but like as far as like looks I don't know if I would want to 
change anything and I think that's so important to get to that spot with yourself because there's no point living a life where you're unhappy with the way that you look or something about you or um, wanting to change something about yourself physically if you obviously want to like get plastic surgery I'm not against it I think you should do whatever it takes to like feel as confident as you can I got my nose done um, I believe in Botox I believe in lip filler I believe in like if you want to get your boobs done I believe in like all that stuff anything it takes for you to be the most confident best version of yourself because we only get this one life and um, we're supposed to strive and make it the best life we could possibly make it So obviously I'm so open to anything and everything, but right now I am just like personally, the things that I would change, I guess, in a way, I mean, I feel like I always want to like be my best self and like become my best self. So I'm always setting goals and striving for that and um, trying to be more positive and all that. But I don't know if I would necessarily change anything. Do you plan on staying in Florida or eventually living somewhere else? I don't picture myself ever moving out of Florida. I don't know where life's going to be in a few years from now. But if, if and when Christian and I do look for a place to live and to buy a house, I picture us doing it here in Florida. I'm not sure if it would be in Orlando, which is where I live, or like south. I don't know where it's gonna be but I picture myself living in Florida what are your favorite sweatpants and workout sets my favorite sweatpants are the aloe yoga sweatpants I have them in like four colors I'll link them down below they're so good I wear them all the time I live in them and I know it's super hot out but they're just so good and my fave workout sets are set active I love set active their materials are good they have a variety of materials a variety of styles their colors are just really good and complimenting, so definitely set active. Where do you find inspo for workouts and meals? I feel like I'm doing the same meals and exercises. <laughs> I do the same meals. I literally eat the same things. I don't really have a lot of inspiration. I follow a lot of like healthy accounts on Instagram, and that's where I find some inspiration for dinners and stuff. So definitely look at TikTok, Instagram, try and find those people that are cooking meals that you're into and like. Workouts, I now do um, Matt Pilates. I do the TF Studio, um, and it's Tasha. Sorry, it cut me out. Her name is Tasha Franken, and I do the TNF Studio app. So I do Matt Pilates, and then I do like some walking, kind of switching into the lower intensity lighter workouts and seeing where it takes me just trying new things trying to um switch things up there so i highly recommend that app i've been doing it for a few weeks you do need certain pilates equipment but you could totally do a body weight if you want to um but loving that what are your favorite makeup brands i don't know i wear the same makeup every single day i love the giorgio armani luminous silk i love the it cosmetics cc cream i use the tarte um concealer i use morphe the morphe palette the eye eyeshadow palette i love um honestly like cheaper brands too where do you get your motivation and inspiration from every day what gets you up on the hard days i think it's just setting those goals and picturing yourself and your life and where you want to be and i just feel like i want to live a life that's just incredible like i just want to look back and be like wow i really lived i i did that i lived and set goals and achieved those goals and um that gives me motivation and inspiration honestly and just like surrounding yourself with people who are like-minded and have those goals and have those aspirations to like just be better and evolve and um healthy living just balance consistency stuff like that what you follow on social media has like such a direct impact on your life so if you're following those people that 
have those goals of like healthy living, balance, believing in yourself, being confident, feeling good in your own skin, like that's going to like be absorbed by you. So it follow those good accounts that make you feel good, um, surround yourself with really great people, set goals for yourself, show up for yourself every day. And that's my inspiration and motivation to keep going and becoming that girl that I want to be. So that's my motivation. How do you grow on YouTube? I've never gotten this question before. Um, consistency, um, being yourself. I mean, I don't know, just like you show up, you post videos. I post what I would want to watch. I post what I do. I post this stuff mainly for me and I'm glad that you guys enjoy it. But I love the idea of having this as like a video diary. So that's it and how do you grow just be consistent be yourself we're all so unique and we all have something to offer and bring to the table that is just absolutely incredible so that's my advice for there um favorite cuisine mexican mexican food is my favorite um would you like to have a dog or a cat one day i cannot as long as i am with my boyfriend um, he's really allergic. Maybe one day we could get like a hypo hypo allergenic dog, but until then I I don't know if we ever will um, Which countries would you like to travel to? Honestly, it's growing the more that I get into my job I see these trips that these people are booking and I'm like, oh my gosh, that looks incredible I need to go so I feel like it's just gonna constantly grow the more that I get into this job because there are places that I've never even heard of that people are traveling to and they're absolutely stunning places. So I know it's gonna get there, but I definitely wanna go to Mexico. I wanna go to Europe. Um, that's it now. I mean, obviously I would love to go anywhere and everywhere. I think it would be so fun, but um, definitely Mexico and Europe are on the top of my list. That is all I'm going to answer for um, today. I hope you guys enjoyed this little Q&A catch up, got to know a little bit more, found some inspiration, found some motivation. I'll do more in the future. And I like doing these like every few months because I mean, a lot can happen in a few months, a lot can happen in a month, honestly. But I like doing these every once in a while. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little q and I'm sorry if the lighting was just insane i'm obviously in a parking garage waiting for me to go to lunch so i hope you guys enjoyed um, make sure you're subscribed give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video